I'm Maddie. Oh, that really hurt. Hi, I'm not Maddie. Thanks very much, Glossus Lag. And the eight people who liked that comment. <laughs> You've been asking some really great questions, so we want to use this opportunity to answer some of them. So, the first question uh, that BB Topic has asked is, why can flamingos only eat upside down? The whole way their body's designed is to eat upside down, so actually their top jaw is movable, like our bottom jaw is. Um, and our top jaw is obviously fused to us. What Sam's <coughs> trying to say is that their bills are basically <laughs> upside down. Yes. So the, <laughs> their bills are upside down, but then they're turning their head upside down. So their bills are kind of the right way around for the function they want. But oh, how do flamingos do it? So I've actually got the next question for you. From 20 Firebird, how do snakes keep their eyes from drying out? Snakes don't have eyelids. Instead, they have a small clear scale, which acts a bit like a pair of safety goggles over their eyes. In fact, you can see it in the, their skin. If you look closely, you can see the small scales. Do they have a name? They're so an ocular scale. So when they shed their skin, they've got a brand new contact lens, effectively. So even more clear for them. They've got monthlies. Monthlies, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so talking about eyes, our next question is from Sophie Costine, and she's asked, why do we have eyelashes and eyebrows? A lot of cultures find eyelashes very attractive, which is why a lot of ladies put on extra mascara, yeah, I think you call it. Gentlemen. No, stop blinking. You're putting things in my eye. No, I'm not. Oh, it's awful. There you go. Oh. Eyelashes act like a set of whiskers and they just protect your eyeballs and the lens from any dirt or bits of dust getting into them. Eyebrows are a bit of a funny one. Can you do yours separately? Hmm. Oh, I can't do that. I'm trying so hard. What is the function of an eyebrow? <laughs> uh, well, you can sort of see on them, the hair tends to sort of slant slightly outwards or slightly inwards and they also obviously have the brow behind, the slight sort of ridge. And so any moisture that gathers on your forehead, rather than the sweat dripping into your eyes, which can be quite painful, um, it sort of goes around the outside or over the bridge of your nose. And obviously eyebrows are pretty expressive and they help us to portray emotions such as... Give me happy. Okay, your eyebrows didn't move much. Give me, um, scared. Our next question comes from <laughs> You've Been Hazed, who asks, <laughs> can animals detect earthquakes? And we love this question. So there's a lovely example from uh, 2009 when there was a big quake in Italy. And about three days before it happened, a hundred toads have led this mass exodus away from the pond that they were in. So somehow they were able to predict the earthquake was about to happen. Yeah, a NASA geophysicist has this great theory, which I think might explain what the toads are up to. Um, which is that when rocks are under extreme stress, like they are just before an earthquake, um, they give out a lot of ions or charged particles. Mm -hmm. And when you get these positive charged particles in the air, um, in humans at least it's been seen that you get really nasty headaches and release a lot of stress hormones. These charged particles are reacting with the water, which creates hydrogen peroxide, which is toxic to aquatic animals. Most things, I think. Yeah, it's awful. explains why the toads just wanted to get out of there. Absolutely. Get out of this pond. <laughs> And I mean, there's some real validity to it as well. A lot of scientists are saying, do keep an eye out on animals because they do have these incredible sensors that we don't have. And they might give you some indication of what's going on beneath us in the tectonic watch, plates. Watch, watch the toads. That's it for this episode. We had over 100 comments and some amazing questions on the last Q&A video. So we challenge you to come up with even more and even better questions. It's going to be tough. They were some really nice questions there. Um, and do please share this with your friends if you like the video and make sure to subscribe. And if you do, as a cheeky bonus, I will never flatter my eyelashes at you again. Sounds like a fair deal. Not you. I'm flattering at you all the time. Oh, God. Bye! <laughs> Bye. I want to see that rat up, but I don't know whether it goes side to side or round and round or how fast it's shaking it and really where that sound comes from. What exactly is a sinkhole and could they appear anywhere? Residents had heard rumbling sounds for weeks and then early one morning a huge circular cavern opened up almost instantly. What we're going to do today is try and get two people eating either bitter or sour or salty or one of those and in theory you should be able to tell exactly what they've got in their mouth in terms of flavour 